it's the Mac Boy, aka the Beagle Typer, here with another video again. Hypercar again today. We are talking about the brand new Aston Martin Valhalla. Yes, I heard this car was coming out. I saw it already come out already, but really, it kind of got delayed. Whatever. But today, it just came out well yesterday and we shot like a video of it i saw it was pretty cool so i guess that's the only thing i could film about today that will actually get some views because i can do like very old car stuff but nah so the vahala just came out and let's go check it out because i'm pretty sure it's really cool and you guys will enjoy it but before we get started be sure to subscribe to my channel right here and my channel is called the Mac boy as you guys know and I just hit 1k views on my love Ferrari video I can't believe it thank you guys so much and you guys feel you, you guys are really special to me so yeah go subscribe and remember if we hit a hundred 100 subscribers by the end of the summer, I will buy a 1 to 18 scale C8 Corvette. So back to the Valhalla. This car just came out, and it's another hybrid hypercar. Uh, basically, uh, it has 950 brake horsepower, and Aston Mar Martin's transformational journey to take a huge step forward with the Valhalla concept car brought up the production real in reality as an extraordinary truly driver focused mid-engine hybrid supercar well a hypercar basically because it just looks like one and styling wise i'm not the biggest fan the only thing in the styling that i actually like is the roof scoop and probably the wheels because this car kind of looks ugly but it still has like a kind of iconic design to it but basically I'm not the biggest fan of the styling again, but with the chassis aerodynamic and electronic uh, expertise forged in Formula One and cut a cutting edge hybrid power chain te technology as its heart, Mahala formidable technological short showcase, yet far from engineering this driver out of the loop. Valhalla's sole focus, focus is immersing them in a new kind of supercar driving experience. Wow, I'm amazed at this car, really. But it has really many horsepower, and boy, oh boy. Let me see how many they're making. Five hundred units, so this is gonna be pretty rare. Let's just go to Wikipedia for a little bit. It was actually a concept car, and I heard from a dealer that I met like a year ago. His Instagram's a a a r o n one zero two two three. Go follow him or whatever. And um, that there is what there's going to be one in Taiwan, and there's a it's used. Using an AMG engine, which is in the AMG GTR, but it, I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure um, they should make their own engine because I'm not sure really. But um, I just don't really like that everybody's using the same engine now. Just like, like AMG is just really dominating everything right now. They're making the Lotus and Myra. They're making like... Ghanis. They're making now. They're making Aston Martins. I, I mean, maybe they should make their own engines, like Aston Martin. Because personally, I kind of like their engines a lot because it's just nice, and you can pull the valves too. And that's electric power train, train nine hundred and fifty brake horsepower. And uh, before it was the Aston Martin Valkyrie, but then there's no Valkyries in Taiwan. There, there there's going to be a Valhalla in Taiwan. Like, a hundred percent, like, 99 percent sure there's going to be one in Taiwan. And, styling-wise, I'm not sure. And, 
it kind of makes people nervous of driving this car. And the rear end doesn't really look good anyways, but the bumper looks really nice though. Uh, and the wing I kind of like. And so basically it has a new V8 engine and a hundred. it can use 100% battery power sometimes. So if you're just cruising, pretty nice. And um, when driven in EV mode, battery power is directed exclusively to the front axle. Yeah. Hopefully, Man Koshman buys one because this will match his collection really well. Check in like a white or like grayish color, and it will be legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Ha 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 ha. I am Barney Simpson right now, and I am awesome. <laughs> Just kidding. So, that's pretty much it for the Valhalla. Also, go check out drawtodrive.com slash the map boy. I got some notifications here because I got some artwork to show you guys. Uh, cause art is always like my passion and I really like art and you guys can just follow me on draw to drive and I'm pretty sure you'll like my art. Well, not all of it is my art. This one's not my art. So the, the Bugatti is not my art. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. My thoughts on the Valhalla, I don't like the engine. I don't like the design in general. It, it's just not like a car I would buy if I had the money. I would probably buy the Speedtail instead because the Speedtail is just such a better, much of a better car because it, you can get the roof scoop and the, uh, the um, how do you say it? The mirrors aren't so like out there. It, it's just going to be hard to like hard to get used to and it, probably people won't daily drive this and like uh some other uh hyper cars and i'm pretty i don't like the ugly design front end nor i do do i like the rear end i love the wheels anyways but this car generally design i'm not sure but uh there's no interior pictures in here so and let us, eh, I'm not pretty a big fan of that interior because everything's getting too futuristic now. People need to slow down. And everybody keeps making these like hybrid V8 twin turbos. Not the biggest fan. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like, and sub uh, hit the bell if you want. And subscribe to my channel he here and here. And I know you're gonna love this video, so click it, click it. So that's it for today's video. Bye bye.